Welcome, I hope that you're doing well. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create a seat that a player can sit on in the game that you are creating in Roblox Studio. This could be something like a chair or a bench. In this video, I'm gonna focus on creating a chair. Let's get started. So you're gonna to wanna to have Roblox Studio open. So in order to create a seat, the most important part is actually is something called a seat in the game. So uh, for example, let's say I were to uh, go up to home and then I wanna click on a part to add, I'll click on a block. And so again, I'll find my block that was placed on the map. I have it selected here and then I can go ahead and maybe scale the block or move it. Um, let's go ahead and make this a little larger. And I'm gonna go ahead and play this game and you're gonna notice that when I play the game, I'm not able to sit on this block. So I'm basically just standing on the block, okay? And so what that block needs is a part called a seat um, that you can make invisible and put over top of it. So to add a seat, you need to go over to workspace and then you're gonna click on the plus icon. And so now you can add this to the, uh, to the workspace. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look up seat that I put in the first couple letters. And I'm gonna press seat. Now it will show up as a black block on your um, Roblox Studio. Now, what you want to do first uh, before you do anything else, if you're going to put this block on top of the other one, um, you're, you're going to want to put can collide off. So I'm going to uh, go down to properties and then um, when you see can collide, just go ahead and uh, press that off. So that, that way I can move through other blocks. Um, and then now um, I'm going to go ahead and play this game. So you can just see that I'm able to sit on the black part, but not the white uh, one. So here we go. So um, let's see if I can find it. I might not have anchored it. Let me do that again. I'm gonna anchor it this time. So let's just go over here, make sure I press anchored. Okay, so that should be there. And then make sure transparency is good. Okay, so now when I play this, you should be able to see that. There it is. Okay, so now it's anchored. And I'm gonna have, and now you can see my character is able to sit on that block. Okay, so in order to sit on the white block, what I'm gonna to need to do is drag this one. And I'm gonna go up to home and then just click on move. And I can move it right um, within the other one. Now, um, one thing I noticed is I was trying to make a model out of this and it wasn't working. So um, it's probably easiest to keep them together like that. And if you want to make the uh, black block, uh, the seat, uh, if you want to make that one invisible, what you go down is have it selected, have the seat selected, go down to properties, and then just go down here to uh, the transparency, and then just turn that up to one. And so now it's invisible, but whenever I play the game, it will uh, still be there. So I'll be able to sit on this part. Yeah, so there I'm able to sit. And again, I want to check your anchor to make sure that that's on um, so that it sits in the same spot every time. So that is how you create the seat part of a chair or a bench. And then the, the rest of the, of the tutorial is really just uh, building uh, the seat. So in order to build a chair, something like that, you'd want to just go to, I, you know, have an idea of what you want to build. So I went to Google, looked up wood chair, something like that would be fine. And so in order to build this, I'm gonna to need to build the legs and uh, the seat. And then all I need to do at the end is just move this into position on the chair and then um, anchor it, of course, and then that way it'll be in the same spot. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you, um, you know, uh, test the game out uh, several times to make sure that it's in the right spot so that um, when the player comes into the, the game, so there, my model fell apart. So basically what I'll need to do is make sure that uh, that is anchored. So see, I'm sitting kind of in the middle of the air there. So I forgot to anchor the one part. So these are the kinds of things you'd wanna do when you're building. So let me uh, select that again. And I'm going to select just the uh, part and I just need to go down here and I need to press anchored. So now whenever I play this, you know, these are the kinds of things you want to do when you're building uh, so that it works. Now I can sit and I'm kind of in the air there. Yeah. So to add the legs, you just need to add different parts to your game. So I'm going to just keep adding blocks here and let's just make sure I can move this over. And then you can, so once you've got a couple blocks, what you want to do is, you know, create the first leg. Um, by moving and scaling this the way you would want it. Um, so you can scale. So you're gonna use the scale and then you're also gonna use the rotate. And once you've got, let's say the first leg, something like that, um, then what you can do is duplicate it. And to duplicate, you just do control D. So control D will duplicate. And now I've got another part and you see there's another one laying there in the same spot. And so you would just move these where you need to move them. And that's the basics of at least starting your build. 
And again, making sure all of your parts are anchored. Uh, and so you can just make sure you click this for each one of your parts uh, so that it's anchored uh, where you need it and it will stay in place so your model does not fall apart. And then you can always um, you know, select everything and uh, then uh, go to model and then union and that'll create the whole model. But you won't want to do that until the very end. So, and you might not even need to do that if you anchor everything correctly. So this gives you an idea of how to build the chair uh, for, and a seat that a player can sit on in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.